Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers exclusive review. But before we take a look at my brand new figures that just came in the mail, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber to Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. I am trying my best to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of October for TFCon in Reston, Virginia. And I think at the time of this recording, I only have 20 subscribers to go. So please hit that button. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. And hashtag 2000 by TFCon. Now for my figures. I have in my possession the brand new War for Cybertron Siege Skywarp and the Phantom Strike Squadron set or as it says here on the box, the Skywarp Battle Pack. I pre-ordered this, I think it was around July 20th after my birthday. I was really hoping I'd get it on time because I pre-ordered Thundercracker and he was about 10 days late. So I'm really excited to crack this open and take a look at these figures. So let's do this together. I've got my box cutter. Try not to go too deep. All right. This uh, having figures arrive in a box from Amazon is nice. Last few ones I've ordered, they came in uh, padded envelopes. Boxes weren't in the best shape, but I'm an out of box collector, out of package collector, so that doesn't matter to me. All right, so there we go. There is the Skywarp and his Phantom Strike Squadron. I love that box art. That looks awesome. It's got that nice angled Siege packaging. There's the Siege artwork there on the side. On the back, you see the package contents. You got Skywarp and the Battlemasters. What's their names? Terror Daxtel, Terror Daxtel, Fracas, and Shroot. Shroot. Oh, well. So anyway, that is it for the packaging. I thought maybe it'd have a flap you could open up, but you're not going to take a look at what these figures look like until you actually open the box. So now let's get this package cracked open and take a look at Skywarp and his Phantom Strike Squadron. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Phantom Strike Squadron all out of the packaging, you'll see that they come with a sheet of instructions. One sheet for all four figures. And just like the rest of the Siege instructions, this is very well illustrated and very easy to follow. Now, the thing you need to know about this set. These figures are nothing but repaints of existing figures that we already have. Though Skywarp does have a new face sculpt, and I'll go into that when we take a closer look at his figure. Some of the other accessories you get are new blast effects, but they're not new. They're recolors of existing blast effects we already have. So there's your impact blast effect. You've got the little squiggle laser blast effect. And these fire blast blast effects. So now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figures, and we'll start with the Battlemasters first. First off, we have Fracas, and Fracas is a repaint of Aimless. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the differences on the figures. You'll see that Fracas has a purple body, blue face, and kind of a greenish, grayish visor, where of course Aimless is blue, orange, and yellow. Molding's exactly the same. Barrel is exactly the same. It is the exact same figure as Aimless, just a completely different paint scheme. He's got a white Decepticon logo opposed to Aimless's purple logo. So there you go, guys. There is Fracas. Next up is Shroot, and Shroot is a repaint of Fire Drive. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two figures. Shroot has a more subdued 
body. Red face is the same, but instead of the red on the chest, he has red underneath on the vents. Actually, it's more of a orange collar, but the exact same mold, exact same barrels. So there you go, guys. There is Schrute. Next, we have Pterodactyl, and he is a repaint of Pteraxodon. And I actually think Pteraxodon is the better repaint. Looking at the two, Pterodactyl's head has a silver paint scheme on the eye and the crest. Pteraxodon has that bright orange that really pops out. You flip them around. I love the blue on Pteraxodon. The subdu subdued gray, not so much on Pterodactyl. Man, they, <laughs> they're hard to say. Purple Dinobot, green Dinobot. There we go. So there you go, guys. There is Terror Daxtel. And lastly, we have the main attraction of this set, Skywarp. Skywarp, of course, is another repaint of Starscream, which has six repaints as of this recording. There's Thundercracker, Skywarp, Redwing, and the three Rainmakers. Now, I really like the colors on Skywarp. He's got more of a dark gray collar to him, opposed to the black that we normally see. Nice purple paint there on the forearms, down here on the little shin guards, and the feet. He also has a brand new face sculpt. A nice, serious look. Still maintains that great light piping. But that's pretty much it for robot mode. If you have any of the other seeker molds, you know the detailing. Now, let's take a look at these figures in alt modes. The Battlemasters in weapon mode look really good with Skywarp, and you can give him all three along with his regular weapons. So he looks like he can take on an entire Autobot force. And I love the color scheme of these guys. They just work so well with this set. Skywarp's collars carry over very well in Tetrajet mode. I really like the looks of this vehicle. Granted, I think he could have used a little splash of color here and there to break up the vehicle more. You can really see the battle damage throughout the figure. It's the same battle damage markings that's on Thundercracker and Starscream. Little Decepticon logo there on either side. He's got the orange windows, just like the other Tetra Jets. The visible chest on the back. But he looks really good. Very, very Skywarp. So now let's take a look at Skywarp in Tetrajet mode with Starscream and Thundercracker. As I said earlier, I think Skywarp needs something else to his Tetrajet mode to make him stand out like the other two. I really like the Amazon exclusive Skywarp and the Phantom Strike Squadron. I know they're just repaints, but hell, that was practically all of Generation 1. And you can't go wrong with more Battlemasters. Not to mention, if you're a fan of the Seekers, you have to get Skywarp to go with Starscream and Thundercracker. So there you go, guys. Amazon.com's War for Cybertron Siege Phantom Strike Squadron. So, does a War for Cybertron Siege Skywarp with the Phantom Strike Squadron belong in your collection? Well, that depends. How much do you like repaints, and how much do you like Battlemasters? I personally, when Starscream was announced, when Thundercracker was announced, this guy was a given. I have to have those three because I'm a G1 fan. I have no interest in Red Wing, and I have no interest in the Rainmakers, the Skittle Squad as I call them, but I had to get a Skywarp. I've always liked Skywarp. I love the collars on the guy. So yeah, he was a must-have. Now this set runs for $49.99 on Amazon.com. I'll put a link in the description below. So I guess it's a fairly good deal. You get a $30 Voyager and three $5, $6 Battlemasters. Plus you're paying a couple extra dollars for that cool looking box. So if you're a Seeker fan, if you're a G1 fan, yeah, pick him up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And guys, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. 
Like I said, I'm trying my best to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of October for TFCon in Reston, Virginia. So hashtag 2000 by TFCon. And if and when, when rather, let's think positive, I hit my 2000 goal, I will do a raffle for some Patriot Prime swag. I will do a t-shirt raffle, two t-shirts actually, one for each thousand subscribers. So watch for that video, hopefully coming very, very soon. Also check out my series, The Sit Rep, where I sit down and shoot the bull with fellow Transformer Collector YouTubers. Guys, I appreciate you watching. This is Patriot Prime, signing out.